Steve, everybody in fine. Fettel, what, what's, your, what's your squad news at the moment? Well, thankfully, everybody's come through the weekend's game OK, um, which was good to see. <coughs> so in that respect, you know, we've got... Um, We've got everybody available who we think we should be available. The only real doubt we've got at the moment is, is James Chester, who is, who's doing his utmost. But uh, he's he was back on the training ground today doing some sort of work, but not with the main group. But everybody else is uh, everybody else is okay. And did the two, the, well, the three guys come through the weekend okay? They all come through okay. Yeah, they're all alright. No problems. And did Matty Fry not train this morning. Matty Fry didn't train this morning, he just picked up a knock yesterday in training. We don't expect anything at all, but we just aired with caution today, but uh, he was, uh, he'll be fine, there's no problems. So you're pretty much full strength, which gives you a few... Well, of course, listen, the hardest job I've got is is picking the 11, of course, and especially when it's a big game like today. And I've got to obviously weigh up in my own mind, you know, we've had... McShane, for example, has been out for the best part of 16, 17 weeks. McGregor, six or seven weeks. And, you know, Aluko's been on and off for the past three, four months now. So we have to make sure that everybody's right and everybody's in the right frame of mind. And, of course, physically, they've got to be right because sods loads just heating up very nicely as we look. It'll be red hot on Saturday, so I'm led to believe. So the one thing you have to have is everybody 100% fit. <coughs> It's a new experience for this club, obviously. Do you have to manage the experience? Well, it's a new experience for everybody, and even my, my time in management, I've never been to one either in, in management. Thankfully, as a player, I went, and it's a fantastic occasion for everybody, and, and particularly the football club itself. Never been there, never been there in its, in its history. So it's a wonderful um, achievement to get there, and uh, let's hope on the day it's, uh, it's our day. There is a cup at stake. There's also next season's the implications in terms of when your season starts, which is an incentive in itself, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we uh, well, if we win, we don't have to play a qualifying game on the 30th of July. So that's the that's the, an extra incentive for the players, if you like. And, and it's something that we, obviously, with Arsenal being forged, that we have qualified for Europe. So it's something that we're taking into account. It's very difficult to plan for. Because even as we speak now, we still don't know whether we're playing on the 30th and the 6th or we're just straight in in September. We'd like it obviously to be that we just enter the competition in the group stages. That would be terrific. Rank outsiders surely for the weekend, don't you? Oh, we must be rank outsiders, of course. I mean, I think it's the it's the the actual beauty of the, the FA Cup. Again, it's that what we've seen last year. Man City were huge favourites and, uh, and, and Wigan have have come up and won the thing which was the actual you know that's why for me it's been the greatest competition there has been there's always been shocks in it it's a one-off game of course Arsenal are favourites clear favourites and a club like ours to take on the mighty Arsenal just has a, a fantastic ring to what the FA Cup's all about For all sorts of reasons Tottenham keeping a close eye on how you get on at the weekend they've got rid of Tim Sherwood as well even before you just arrived there uh, is that a disappointing development? Well, I'm like everybody else in football management. I think we all we all know that it's it's so difficult nowadays. I mean, looking from the outset, Tim's done a really terrific job. And that would be from a year ago, 11, 12, 13 people or whatever it's gone, whoever's gone. You're not playing in the cup final on Saturday. <laughs> um, I'm always see, sad to see a manager go because it's it's never easy. In fact, it's totally disappointing, and it's it's happening too often. It's happening too regularly now. That I mean, it's become. I never thought I would see the day, but it's now becoming like it is in Europe and it is in South America. We're probably worse now. The average lifespan, as we keep getting told from the LMA, is 13 months. And another another good young manager has lost his job today, which. From the outside, I don't know what much more he could have done in terms of results. He's been, he's been terrific. Last one from me in terms of recruitment. Is there any chance you might have a look at Rio? That possibility? No, we haven't even. I have to be honest. We've had, we've, we've cast an eye on a few things, but uh, I haven't really haven't really looked into that. It only broke last night. The one thing for certain, Rio Ferdinand has been a wonderful, wonderful player, and uh, who knows if he fancies a game. 
Um, let me get over the weekend first and we'll see if we're going to give him a call or not. You've got Ashley Cole as well, possibly available. Well, we'll have the, well um, any more you can think of? <laughs> any more you can think of, yeah. Uh, Steve, you play but you've never managed to be a How much will that playing experience help you prepare this team, do you think? Well, it certainly helps that you experience it. I mean, for me, the first one was over in a blur. I said to the players today, there's not many of them married, but it's a bit like the day you get married. It's all over before you blink. And before you know it, you're married. And before you know it, the FA Cup final's gone. That's what it was like to me. You know, you've got to try and grasp the occasion, enjoy the occasion, and make sure that, above all, you perform. Because if you're not careful, it just goes past you, and all of a sudden, your, your memories of the FA Cup are the ones that you, that you cherish when you're finished and you've stopped your playing career. The ones that you really remember are FA Cup final days. And believe me, it's far, far better when you've won one than you've lost one. And I've experienced, I've experienced losing, but more importantly, I've experienced winning. And what's that like? So let's hope we can, we can do it. Let's hope it's our day. And do you think that having played at Wembley in the semi-final helps? Yes, I think it certainly helped us in terms of we know what to expect. You know, it, it was a wonderful occasion, the semi-final, but still it dwarfs it dwarfs the final itself because the reality is it's it's a one-off it's a it's a place where you know heroes are made who can be that hero who can go and win us the cup and uh, and as I said all the time that's the beauty for me of the FA Cup when we're all grown up as kids you know it was the major thing then you know of the FA Cup and the build-up to it and everybody enjoys the shock so if you're not an Arsenal fan, I'm sure the rest of the world will be rooting for Hull, I would have thought. Well, just look around you at these cameras and the microphones in front of you. Quite a change from last year when you were preparing for Watford or Palace or whatever. Does this remind you to pinch yourself about how far you brought this football club in the two years you've been here? <clears throat> well, we were preparing last year when I first walked through the door. We had yourself and, uh, and one other, I think. We had two or three people, didn't we? That was a normal news conference. For a club like ours to get to the FA Cup final, there's nobody as, as pleased as I am for the people who employ us, for one, and also the supporters. You know, this club's not really steeped in history and tradition of winning things or achieving things. To get to Wembley and get to Europe and stay in the Premier League, I'm delighted for them because, you know, managers, chairmen, we all come and go. But the one thing that stays at a football club is, is the supporters. And for them in particular, I'm absolutely delighted that they can enjoy, and I hope they enjoy, the day out because it is something special. One last one for me. If James doesn't make it through, the chances are your lad's going to get the nod. I mean, that'll be up to you, of course. Sir. But uh, you could be proud father and manager in the same. Uh... Well, that, that's always a that's always a difficult situation that always I find myself in, and uh, and if I'm in that situation, then great. I'll be as proud as anybody else, like any other father would be. Or it's. Uh, it's not easy, it's certainly not easy for him, but I think it's fair to say over the last two years he's been here, you know, he's played 20 odd times this year and he's played 37 times or whatever it is last year. He's never let anybody down, so um, that could be the case. Thank you. Steve, having played obviously at Wembley in an FA Cup final as a player, how does the build up to this stage compare now being manager? Well, even, in, even back in the day, I never thought I'd be saying that. You know, it was something like 20 years ago. 1990 was my first one. And, of course, the FA Cup was the pinnacle of, of the showpiece. It was the end to the season, the, the clamour for it. When we see now today, it reminds me of just the intensity of it, uh, the huge excitement to it. You could see the lads in training this morning for the first time in a month. I can see a spring in that step and, and enjoy and train and run around like they should be because for the last three, four weeks, to be fair to them, all they've thought of is the FA Cup final. Thankfully, it's here upon us and, uh, and to try and enjoy it was my message to them. And as I've said, because it goes over in a, in a, in a blur and, uh, and it's the games that you do really remember at Wembley, FA Cup final. And uh, let's hope we can win it because that's, that's a bit special. Do you believe you can take something from the, the Wigan performance against Manchester City in the final last year? The beauty for me of the FA Cup is exactly what it is on Saturday. It is the mighty Arsenal with all that history and that tradition and uh, and the big support and a big, huge club 
against the small club. And I think what, is, what has been the attraction of it, especially in England, is the ability for a, a smaller club to turn them over. And we must, must hope that we can do that. We've got every belief that we can, otherwise it's a non-event. And I think that's what makes the occasion so good. And it's a classic FA Cup of what it should be. One of the big teams against one of the smaller teams. And that, for me, it brings back a little bit of the, the glamour to it. What Wigan did last year said to me when I'm sitting on a beach somewhere, well, do you know what it is? You know, Wigan have won the FA Cup. Every small club can get there. And that was my approach this year to it, was to say, well, we're never going to win the Premier League, but we've got a chance to win six games in the FA Cup. We've won five of them. Can we now add the six to it? It'll be terrific. Before we get to the final, as you have done now, do you go on and win it? A fairy tale, perhaps? Enough for another book? <laughs> no, I'll give up on books and all the rest of it. I'll let you not do the writing. I, I, I fell at the first hurdle with that. Just because I got an English GCSE, I thought I could write a book. How wrong I was. It was the biggest pile of tripe you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> However... Steve, it's, a, it's obviously a different type of week, a special week. How do you try and keep it normal? Well, we've just tried to keep it normal. You can tell it's not normal. You can tell with them this morning it's not normal. And uh, as I said, you know, for the last the first three, four, for the last first time in three or four weeks, there's a spring in that step, and and you could just detect that, and that'll build up, and 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 so it should be. And you cannot put a lid on that. They're playing in arguably the biggest game of their career. And that's what you play football for. You play football for occasions like this. For when you've played when you're a junior team or your district team or whoever you've played for, you want to do one thing, which is play in an FA Cup final. Certainly if you're if you're if you're British anyway. So um they're all ready and they're all prepared and we'll prepare them as best we can and just we'll not we'll not do anything different because I don't believe I don't believe you have to. And obviously it's for the club, are you aware of how big it is for the whole city and the, the area as well? Is it aware to it? Of course I am. And uh, and I'm, I've been in the city for a couple of years. And it's fair to say, you know, we have got the, the biggest unemployment in the country. It's a tough working class city, which if it has something to shout about and we can bring the cup home to them, then that would delight me as much as for, to, for the club itself. The actual, you know, the the city itself and the people itself, it's not easy living in around here. So if we can put a smile on a few people's faces and, and come back with it, it would be terrific. So have you imagined winning it? Have you dreamt about it? I think it's just dawned on me now that we're, we're here. When you come in to walk into here, I think, oh my gosh, this must be a big game. Um, um, and as I've said, I've been fortunate enough to, to win it before. To go as a manager, I never thought that was going to be possible at times, because usually I'm out in the third round. Um, that's happened more times than I've got to the fifth round. So I'm going to enjoy the occasion and take a and take a deep breath and just make sure. I've been doing management now for, for 15 years. And as we speak today, I think two or three people have lost their job in the last 48 hours. So you've got to try, enjoy the good times, and there can't be any better than what we're just a, what's about upon us. And just finally, have you got a message for the fans who'll be making the trip? Enjoy it. And as I said in the semi-final, let's take Soho by storm. Why not? Can we afford the prices of Soho there? That's the problem. Let's hope so. See, the beauty of the FA Cup is it gives the sports something tangible to actually, you know, enjoy and have a day out and hopefully win the cup rather than I know clubs will think about the finances of finishing as high as possible, but this is something else, isn't it? Don't worry, I've been reminded that we didn't finish high up the table where we should have done. And rightly so. And you're right, the FA Cup is all about enjoying it. And it is a fantastic occasion for everybody, because it's a one-off. But, as I've said to the players and I've said to my staff, it's a dark place if you lose. It's not great when you lose. Um, so, we have to do everything with power to try and win the thing. And then you do have a really, really fantastic memory of it, because it doesn't happen very often. It's took the club 110 years to get there. So, it just shows you how often it comes upon you. You mentioned the fact that it's been difficult for the last month to get the players kind of going because they know that this was always at the end of, yeah. end of the road. Is that something you can learn from, that the players can learn from going forward in the future? Well, certainly I've been doing it 15 years 
and uh, and you never and you never tire of learning. It's the first time I've been in this situation where I could just see people, and you know, we've all got all sorts of sports science and all the rest of it now to to know that we're not quite at it. Yeah, but I think that's only human nature. A lot of them were just making sure the one thing they didn't want to do was get injured. I can understand that too. So I think it's quite inevitable what's happened. I spoke to Roberto Martinez last week. He had exactly the same thing. You know, when they got to the FA Cup final, all their attentions, and unfortunately, Wigan went down with it. Which, thankfully, we're not in that situation. We've done enough to keep safe, but still, we can always learn. What about your opponents saying you have played them fairly recently? So this will... Well, look, look, Arsenal have got great players, great tradition, great history, great manager, great supporters. They're a big, huge club of this country. Huge. And um, there's no more a bigger admirer of Arsenal because that what for me stands what's good in the game. And they've always been playing against them, managing against them. Arsenal have always been that little bit of class, which I think we all aspire to. Um, and I think, as I said, that's the glamour for me of the FA Cup, that a small club like ours can take on the mighty Arsenal in a cup final. Let's hope we can really produce a performance, because we'll have to. We'll have to be at our best for sure, but we've seen it done before, only recently last year. Nobody gave Wigan a chance and they've done it, so let's hope it's our turn as well.